flying marmot here. Can't fly, and I'm not a marmot, but I can bake some weird bread and unbox the latest from Hacker Boxes. All right, marmoteers, you may be wondering, what kind of color is that for bread? And I have to tell you, I am committing a crime against God and man, for this is an orange crush bread. Now, from the outside, it's quite difficult to tell what terror has been wrought upon this mortal plane. It looks like a sweet potato on the inside. Well, toasted and buttered, it's actually pretty good. A little oversweet, but I think it worked out okay, and more importantly, proof of principle. Can't really oversugar it, nor will any amount of artificial flavors get in the way of the yeast. That sounds like carte blanche for the next recipe to me. Back to the standard box. Ooh, black tissue paper. Dramatic. Cache the planet? Oh my goodness, are we gonna do some geocaching stuff? Interesting. Let's see what we've got. So this is an Arduino Beetle. It's a little tiny chip. Looks like it's got the USB interface built in. We got ourselves an RFID tag and a reader. So RFID if you prefer. Appears we've got ourselves a stack of radio frequency cards. Looks like we've got a USB converter that'll take that standard USB and flip the gender. Interesting. We have some Sugru. This stuff is actually pretty sweet. Uh, it's got a limited shelf life, so my last of it sort of went stiff, but. It's pretty cool. It might end up actually helping Ms. Marmot fix her glasses. We'll see what color we got. Uh, ooh, pitch black and snow white. Fancy. We have a USB endoscope camera as well as the driver disc for it. Finally, I can see all the terrifying things in my pipes that no rightful person would ever want to see. Or no person in their right mind? I think you can be a rightful person and not be in your right mind. Hmm. Word fail. Robot Dyne Nano with the Atmega 328. So I guess that'd be just an off-brand Nano. And that's it for the box. Interesting to see what I can do with the Arfids. And I'm definitely going to have to stick that endoscope in some weird places and add some narration for you guys. So uh, stay tuned, I guess. Maybe that's what that gender flipper's for. I might be actually be able to feed this to my phone. Ms. Marmot has also been busy and in the last two days had made these adorable little baby boots. Boots, boots. They're very cute and fuzzy polka dotted. They get five stars. And these aren't just dirt, that's actual leather there. So she probably won't wear it out before she outgrows it. She, of course, being the mini marmot. I don't think Ms. Marmot could fit these. So there you have it, Marmoteers, a week of creations and acquisitions, and until next time, stay fuzzy. Neat.